Another edition of Delaware Live Sports Top 10 Plays of the Week. We are into the winter, and that means basketball getting us started. Denim Perkins to Keon Scott here from Dover at number 10. Perkins with a beautiful bounce pass, and Scott going to finish with the finger roll. A nice play there to get us started at number 10. On to number 9, it's Gabe Valman from William Penn, and we got to see him up close and personal against Apo a few weeks ago. He was spectacular. Here's one of many plays, a little hesitation, crossover, and then gets it off the glass, takes the foul, three-point play, the old-fashioned way for Gabe Valmont. Then on to number eight, Hodge Bell from Appaquinimic, the same game. He was spectacular all over the court defensively for the Jaguars. Here's one block in transition, and you're going to get two plays for the price of one here. Bell now again on the defensive end, going to track this ball, slow down. Look at the way he slowed down to time it, jumps up, and another rejection for Hodge Bell. On to number seven, Jaden McGee and Middletown. Been highlighted a few times here since the start of their season. Here they are against Dover, up 40 to 37. And McGee gonna leak ahead of the pack here, gonna get it in transition, elevate and throw it down with the left hand. Jaden McGee getting it there at number seven. On to number six, Will Mutz from Salesianum. And if you like dunks, this is gonna be a top 10 for you. Mutz ahead of the pack. Justin Mullen gonna get it up to him. He's gonna take two steps and throw it down. Number 22 in white for Salesianum. Mutz with a big dunk there at number six. On to number five, Justin Mullen. More Salesianum and more dunks as we just talked about. Here's Justin Mullen. This time he's gonna get ahead of the pack. Look at the one-handed slam with the right hand. Then you see a little emotion after it. What a play there from Justin Mullen. He'll have many more this season. On to Howard, one of the most athletic teams in the state this year. And he, Darius Brown, is one of the reasons why. How about the inbound? Find some space, elevates, and throws it down. Darius Brown with a big dunk there for the Howard Wildcats. Over to number three and a St. Mark Spartan Jabri White. Well, he knows a little bit about hanging above the rim. Here he goes, going to get put the ball on the floor, get in the paint, elevate, and throw it down with force. Jabri White and the Spartans there at number three. On to number two, it's a little DMA basketball action. And Zach Johnson, check him out in transition. We've got some great fan videos this week. Another throwdown, this one from Zach Johnson and DMA. Then to our top play of the week, got to see this one as it happened. Number one, Gabe Valmon, Al Paquinimic, and William Penn. Again, William Penn down by two. Valmon with a couple seconds to work with, has to elevate over two defenders, hits it as time was expiring. That's going to be enough to give William Penn the win. What a shot by Gabe Valmon. It's a game winner, one of our first of the year.